the investments that we are announcing today. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we are announcing 16 new investments totaling $62 million. Today. Uh, today. And uh, it's, it, it's, he's not, he's gonna, the company's going to be determined. The money's underneath your seat. This is like the Oprah show. <laughs> so 16 lucky people. Yeah. No, that's not how you do it? That's, that's right. That's not, uh, so I, I'm sorry. And, got, the, and, the, CEOs, and the CEOs are uh, here uh, uh, attending the event. And we're, you know, later today, we're going to have uh, a press conference where the CEOs will get a chance to talk to the press. And, and, uh, and, and, and also, they'll get an opportunity. Uh, you'll get an opportunity to meet with them and hear their pitch. Uh, but there is, you know, and no disrespect to the rest of you, but there's one particular company that I'd really like to talk about and have the, the founder of that company come up on, st uh, on stage. So can we have uh, uh, Shubham Banerjee please come up on stage, please? So I see this kid here. Where's the CEO? <laughs> <laughs> So, Shubham, you had a birthday about the same time they were Telecom Italia was doing this parallels deal. Uh, your birthday was what last week? Uh, that was October stand, 29th. Stand over here. Uh, it was October 29th, and you yeah. turned 50. What? Uh, 59. No, I turned 13. 13 years yes. old. <laughs> so, so the youngest. This is uh, this is the youngest founder investment we've ever done, and. Uh, I, I think if our research is, is correct, probably the, the, the youngest uh, VC investment at all, uh, uh, you know, in history. So, all right, nice work. You, Thank uh, you. Uh, but you've invented something. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, I, I love this because to me this is sort of, this is in a lot of ways like sort of the new future of Intel. Uh, show us this invention that looks like a Lego spaceship, <laughs> it looks, except it's got a printer or something attached to it. Tell me what this is. And this literally is made of Legos. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is a Braille printer made from the Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit. Um, it so a just, Braille printer? Yeah, it just prints normally in Braille, you know. Um, it has obviously paper to print in Braille and a pin and some weights. And so, so essentially this, this does Braille printing. The Braille printers are typically how much money? Uh, Braille printers are normally $2,000 onwards. This does not look like $2,000. It isn't. It's uh, $350. That's fascinating. So this is a prototype, then, of what you'll do when you're not making it out of Legos, yes? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, this, is a, this is the prototype that we're going, or I'm going to bring into the market. Um, it's not fully done yet. I'm very happy that I received funding from Intel so I can take this forward. Talk to me about the motivation for this investment, like this creation. Uh, so the first one, a fire. the idea? Uh, so a flyer came to our house that said, you know, help the blind with donations, a normal nonprofit company or a nonprofit organization. Uh, so then I asked my parents, how do blind people read? Just a random question. And they didn't have time for me, so they just said, go Google it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Parenting, that's the way I do it, too. Yes. <laughs> and my, my kids are two. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not true. I, <laughs> so I just uh, went ahead and actually Googled it, and I found you out. Google how do blind people read? Yeah. Literally. And um, I found out uh, Braille printers, how much they cost, about Braille, Louis Braille. And I found out that they cost $2,000 onwards. And I thought that was pretty high and for, uh, for some people in developing countries. And I wanted to reduce the cost, and so I did with Lego. Yeah, Braille. So this is, I didn't notice that this is Braille. Yeah, that's a Braille. Can you read Braille? No. It's, so how do you know this thing works? Uh, I Googled it. I Googled it. You Googled that too? Great. Okay. Uh. <laughs> That's that we are. Um, sorry, so, so, sorry, so, so you, you find out about this thing. So what made you think there was a better way to do it? Um, so for the first one, I have been loving Lego since I was like two years old or something like that. Um, I just wanted to test out Lego. And then after I was done with that, I got a lot of positive uh, reception from my project. So then I incorporated all my feedback. Did you do this through, something. sorry, yes. where do you live? Where, I live in uh, San Jose. I go to Champion School. Okay, and, and was this part of a school project? Or was it just something you were doing in the house because it was uh, pretty well, cool? My uh, science fair is approaching fast, so I just, I just decided to bring this into the science fair. And, and so, all right, so you make this thing, bring it to the science fair. Yeah. Then you knew, obviously didn't spend the, the $2,000 to do it. What, what, what did you think this was a business? Uh, pardon? What made you think this was a business, not just 
something you did for your science fair? Oh, well, I was just trying to help people. I never thought it would come this far. Um, I want to make at least this one to the market because many people have been asking me, can I buy this off the shelf, can I buy this off the shelf? And I said, uh, at the moment, no. So, yeah. Fascinating. And then when you make this product, I'm going to try to turn this up and I'm not going to, I promise I won't break your prototype, but I do want to show it so the camera can see this, this chip here. Look at that. Look at that. Intel yeah. Edison. And get away from the shine right there as part of your pro project. Is, uh, did you learn how to program this kind of stuff? The Edison, I guess, it comes with this sort of programming language. Yeah, it was a that. bit buggy, so we went a lot of time to. <laughs> <laughs> this was buggy. Uh, <laughs> this one isn't. Uh, yeah, uh, so we went to uh, Intel and uh, we programmed it in Java. So I mean, sorry, no, not Java, uh, Python. Python, yeah. Yeah. All right. It's just fascinating. I, I, and I love it. Do you feel like because you're in Silicon Valley that, that sort of these things seem more possible to you because you see yeah. all this invention and innovation around you? Yeah, I'm very happy that I live in the Silicon Valley with so many smart people. Very cool. All right, all right. <laughs> very cool. If, you, if yeah. you're not threatened, you, you should yeah. feel threatened right now. Uh, great stuff. Yeah. Really impressive. Well, and, you know, congratulations. Thank you. Really you. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. Absolutely incredible, huh?